The latest and crazy impressive drone technology isn't from DJI or research drones approved by the FAA, it's from the University of Hong Kong. And it's called the Safety Assured High-Speed Aerial Robot, also known as Super. Is it really Super though? The autonomous Super Micro Aerial Vehicle measures about 11 inches across and packs hummingbird-like agility and speed. We're talking in excess of 45 miles per hour. But what separates the Super from other much faster racing drones capable of 100 plus mph that can turn on a dime is that the Super runs on AI and has 3D LiDAR on board. That is, it uses pulse firing lasers for light detection and ranging, giving the Super Eagle Eye vision, able to accurately see down to less than half an inch from 230 feet away. Imagine being able to clearly see a thumbtack on the sidewalk from the top of an 18-story building. Yes, that's what Super's 3D LiDAR is capable of. What also makes this thing pretty insane is the level of obstacle avoidance it has while clipping along at top speed. Again, it's no match for a hardcore racing drone in a drag race, but its ability to autonomously pick a clear path through tons of thin branches at 45 miles per hour while chasing a human like they have a bounty on their head is pretty next level. If AI ever flips the switch, it's pretty much game over for humanity. I've never seen a professional human operator attain that level of high-speed precision attack through those kinds of high-stake, drone-crushing conditions. The Super's 3D LiDAR system can see wires down to as thin as about one-tenth of an inch in high definition. That's about the size of a low-e guitar string or a tiny twig on a tree. In the paper that the University of Hong Kong released along with the figures and video footage is a whole heap of math relating to parameterization, trajectory optimization, formulas, and kinodynamic constraints that fly far, far over my head, but it works. Even in absolute darkness, the drone can blaze through obstacle courses with incredible speed and obstacle avoidance. In fact, the onboard AI goes so far as to plot two trajectories simultaneously, one optimized for outright speed and the other leaning towards safety net, just in case to avoid collisions. With this pull-the-pins approach, super-reduced failure rates, for example, the Oli crash and burn, by a factor of 35.9 while still reaching speeds over 45 miles per hour. That means it's nearly 40 times safer, even at high speed. Watching the super map out its environment in detail with 3D LiDAR in real time is reminiscent of the Command and Conquer or StarCraft days as you explore the map. The Super MAV has a thrust-to-weight ratio over 5.0, making it dizzyingly agile and able to quickly make direction changes. For comparison, a state-of-the-art 5th-gen Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II multi-role stealth fighter has a paltry thrust-to-weight ratio of 0.87 or so. This is all seriously cool tech that could have a whole host of practical uses, disaster relief, search and rescue, inspecting infrastructure, or fleets of Falcon-like AI drones patrolling the skies in some dystopian nightmare scenario, a la Skynet Hunter Killers. We're hoping for the former, where drones like the Super can quickly assess hard-to-reach situations and relay necessary information to rescuers in an effort to preserve life. The Super is far from commercially available as of yet. There are search and rescue drones currently on the market like the DJI Matt Rice 30T. It's a favorite amongst police and emergency response teams as it's rugged, easy to use, weather resistant, and has an entire suite of potentially life-saving features like thermal imaging, optical zoom, and laser range finding. Perhaps combining the technology of each might yield the ultimate in search and rescue technology.